having issues putting a large van chassis under a small airplane. Uh, we've got the fuselage mostly sitting down over the chassis now. And we'll attach the steel chassis to the aluminum fuselage. We're going to have to weld a whole bunch of tabs and then make brackets and either rivet or bolt the aircraft fuselage to the brackets because you can't weld aluminum to steel. And it has to be really, really secure because we can go 100 miles an hour on a racetrack. You don't want the body of the airplane coming off. So yesterday we whittled the plane down enough to slip down over this van chassis. As you can see, we've got it sitting over the chassis about where it's going to be when we're finished. Now we begin the tedious process of building brackets to go from the steel van chassis to the aluminum aircraft fuselage. So on this side you can see the aircraft fuselage is almost lined up with the outside edge of the van chassis tire. On the other side, what you'll see is that the entire tire and wheel of the van chassis are outside the fuselage. Now the reason that we've offset the fuselage so much to the driver's side is to make room for the driver inside the vehicle. So now that we've shifted the fuselage of the aircraft to the left and made room for the driver, we're actually going to have enough room for a driver's helmet and for the helmet to clear the roll cage by two inches. The roll cage is going to conform to the, to the ceiling here as closely as possible, and that'll give us room for our driver during the race. I bought this cool plane car on eBay. I got tired of flying and never being able to put my arm out the window, so I got my own plane. <laughs>